Everybody, it's Nick from Rise of Sports, and I'm back with another video. Today, I am trying to do better on my picks. I've really struggled these last two weeks, like mightily. This week, I could go under 500 with my picks, and I really, really don't want to. I really want to do better this week. I'm really hoping for at least, like, there's 14 games. I'm hoping to go at least, at least nine, nine and five. That would be my goal. Um, probably won't won't just because the NFL is really hard to predict and that's why I don't bet because it's just really hard to predict so let's just get into it all right here we are Ravens Bucks is the first game it's on Thursday night Bucks are favored by one and a half points which is interesting because the Bucks have really struggled lately the Ravens have not this is like one of the games where I'm really struggling to know who to take <laughs> I really don't know yeah I think you know I think if the Bucks win, they're gonna win over one and a half. I don't think so. If I if I pick the Bucks, I would take them to win by more than one and a half. I don't think it's gonna be that close of a game. I think the Ravens are either gonna win by like a touchdown or more, or the Bucks are gonna win by a touchdown or more. Which one do I really believe is going to happen though? It's really hard for me to think because Tom Brady has really struggled the last two weeks, like mightily. And that makes me nervous for the Bucks pay, taking them because the Ravens have been better. Um, the Bucks defense is really good, though. <laughs> and that's why it's hard for me to pick this one. It's a really toss-up one for me. I'm going to say Tom Brady gets back at back to where he needs to be. I'm going to I'm going to pick the I'm going to take the Bucks here. I think the Bucks will win this game uh, based on the fact that they have lost two two games in a row against bad teams like extremely bad teams so broncos at jags another big one here because the jags are at home that's one thing it's weird it says it's sunday at 9 30 i'm not sure what that means i think this must be a typo it can't be sunday at 9 30 oh yeah, this is wrong this might be in london yeah it, it, it meant it, they meant to say am that's what this is the Broncos Jags in London. Uh, Russell Wilson probably will be back for this one, I'm assuming. Um, so based on that assumption that Bron that Russell Wilson will be back, I will take the Broncos here. I think it's hard to bet for the Broncos. I really think it is hard to say the Broncos will win any game because I just Russell Wilson has been really bad this year, and the Jags have a chance to really be good. I mean, Travis Etienne looks like he's really starting to come onto the scene here. But I think there's got to be some upsets here, and I think the Broncos are one that could upset the Jacks. I really do. Uh, Panthers-Falcons, really weird one because Panthers just came off a big win. Falcons uh, came off a, is com are coming off a big loss here. The Falcons are favored by six. Do I think the Panthers game was kind of a fluke? I kind of do, and I think the Falcons will win this one in cover. Um, I wouldn't take the spread because I don't feel confident in the Falcons minus six. They're just not that good of a team. So it's really hard for me to take the Falcons minus six here, but I think the Falcons will win this game. Bears Cowboys. Cowboys favored by 10 points. That's a lot to be favored by, but I think the Cowboys will win this game. Probably not by more than 10, but I would take the Cowboys to win this game. Dolphins, Lions. Lions are plus three and a half. Um, tough one for me to take here. It's really hard for me to judge because both these teams looked not great. <laughs> this last game, the Lions for sure looked not great. DeAndre Swift might be back. Amon Ross and Brown, not sure. Um, man, it's hard for me to take this one. I'm gonna say the Dolphins win this game. I think the Dolphins are just a little more talented all all around than the Lions are. So I think the Dolphins win this one. Cardinals Vikings. Um, I think Vikings off a of bye will win this game. I don't I think the Cardinals are a talented team, but I think the Vikings just have more players at positions that matter. DeAndre Hopkins obviously will be back uh, for a second game, but the season, but I don't know. I think the Vikings have this one. Raiders Saints. I'm taking who do I oh gosh. Who do I take? You have two like really good running backs and not a lot else. 
Devonte Adams obviously is a lot else, but <laughs> um, who do I take? This one's tough. I don't know who do I take here. I really don't know. I'm gonna go Saints just because they're at home. I'm gonna go Saints here. I don't feel confident in it at all, but I'm taking the Saints. Uh, Patriots at Jets. Um, I'm taking the Patriots here. I think this is a pretty easy one for me. I don't think the Jets are a good team at all. Um, they're not gonna have Brees Hall most likely. They just don't have the guys. I feel like the Patriots, you know, they're not, they're kind of limited offensively. They run the ball really well, though. And that, I think just for that reason, I'm taking the Patriots. Here's Steelers, Eagles. I'm taking the Eagles. Uh, they're just, <laughs> they're just so much better, I feel like, than the Steelers at this point, talent wise. I mean, the Steelers have a lot of good offensive players, but Kenny Pickett is just kind of in a tough spot. Um, I think he's really talented, but. He's just in a tough spot with this team. Um, I just feel like the Eagles are too high powered, and I I don't feel like it'll be like the Bills game when the Bills played the Steelers, but I think it could be kind of ugly like that. And I think the Eagles win this one. Titans, Texans for sure taking the Titans. Texans. It's always interesting in a divisional game, but I think the Titans are just a better team. Derrick Henry always runs over the Texans, so not expecting anything less there. Commanders, Colts, um, Carson Wentz again. Uh, will not be back to play his former team, the Colts. Um, Colts favored by six in this one. I think Taylor Heineke is the answer, man. I think Taylor Heineke is the guy to put this Commanders team over the top and probably not compete in the NFC East at all, but uh, or yeah, NFC East. But could he finish third <laughs> in that division? I think the Commanders were a team that are for sure the bottom team, but I think they could rival the Giants maybe even. Like, I know the Giants are playing well too. This division, NFC East, is like one of the best in the league now that I'm, now that I'm thinking about it. But I think Commanders got this one. I don't really like the Colts, even though it's at Colts. I think Commanders have this one. 49ers, Rams. Um, This one's interesting because McCaffrey is there and he'll be more inserted into the offense. Rams still a very talented team. Coming off a of bye. Who would I take? Would I take the Rams just because they're at home? I think the 49ers got them, man. I think the 49ers are a better team. I really do. So I'm going to take the 49ers here. Giants, Seahawks. Seahawks are favored by two. Man, keep that Giants train rolling. I think the Giants have this one. I'm going to take the Giants here. Packers, Bill, Sunday night. First time in Aaron Rodgers' career, he's an underdog by 10 or more points. I think the Bills win this by more than 10 also. <laughs> I'm going to take the Bills here. I think they're just a way better team than the Packers right now. Packers just don't look like they have any life. I think the Bills win this one maybe by even 20. Like, I'm not even kidding. This could be ugly. Um, Bengals, Browns. <sighs> I just I can't take the Browns. I'm taking the Bengals. Bengals will win this one. I'm pretty sure about that. Um, and that will be that. So, teams that buy Chiefs Chargers on a buy this week. Um, and then there is a game in London, so that's cool. Um, let's see who... Let's go back through my picks again. So I have... I picked the Bucks after a while to decide. I picked the Bucks to... Wait, did I? What did I say? I did take the Bucks. yeah. Taking the Bucks Thursday night. I'm taking the Broncos. I think Russell Wilson will have a better game. So Bucks, Broncos. I'm taking the Falcons here, the Cowboys, uh, the Dolphins taking the Vikings, I'm taking the Saints, I'm taking the Patriots, I'm taking the Eagles, I'm taking the Titans, I'm taking the Commanders, I'm taking the 49ers, I'm taking the Giants, I'm taking the Bills, and I'm taking the Bengals. So that's my picks. Uh, some upsets in there, so I think I have a better chance of doing better because there's always upsets. So um, let me know what you think. Um, let me know if you think I am even going to be close to 500 this week. I think I'll be better than 500, but uh, we'll see. Um, I'm trying to... <laughs> Keep going. I'm. I wish I would have done my picks week one so I could have an entire season. But um, all but week one are in there. But yeah. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments or anything you want to let me know in the comments, please do. Um, and I'll see you on the next Rise of Sports.